Well, you're looking at the graveyard from last year, and I had one project that I hadn't made a video tutorial for and thought it would be kind of a good time to do it. This is like a hanging mobile. Um, I don't know. I think it adds a mysterious uh, supernatural vibe to the graveyard, and it's pretty easy to make. So let's get into the lair and start start this thing. So trace out a design onto plywood and cut out using a jigsaw. And uh, to get your jigsaw in, I you could drill a half inch hole. But save the pieces because they have kind of a nice wiggy shape to it. And you can also use a bandsaw to cut out uh, th this. You got to use the right blade though. I kind of learned a lesson here. If you use the wrong blade, it breaks. <laughs> so. Uh, right tool for the right job, I guess, huh? Now we're going to paint it and uh, put this with a dry lock to help give it a more waterproof resistance to the weather. Also adds a nice grit to it, so I wanted to make this metal look kind of old. And when that dries, paint it in silver. And now you have a nice fresh metal look, but that's not gonna be good enough, so we're gonna have to make it an old rusty metal look. So get out that raw sienna, and after that silver dries, dry brush it. When that dries, then dry brush it with black, and this is going to deepen and age the metal even more. And when you're dry brushing, kind of get aggressive with it. I uh, used to be a little afraid to dry brush, but discovered that the heavier you go, the cooler it looks. Let's add some dangly stuff to it. So get some uh, chain and pry it open and I think you call them jumper rings not sure but I have a Dixie cup full of different sized rings so open one of those up and put it in between and those are eye hooks that are actually in the main part and clamp it together Let's see how it looks hey yeah that looks pretty good and also add in some additional chain or rope or a combination of all of the above. That way you can hang it into your tree. And see those extra pieces? I think they look kind of creepy. Let's see how it dangles. Yeah. And the wind catches it, swings around. I like the way those little things kind of stay in place. Neat effect. All right, let's get it out there. All right, there it is in the graveyard. Everyone's probably going, wow, wonder who put that there? What kind of people would do that? Is that a mystical thing? <laughs> While we're in the graveyard, you notice all those orange leaves. That, when put the black horse out there, thought it needed some more drama and so got some sticks and then at Hobby Lobby they have all kinds of cool garland fall garland just wrapped it around those sticks and when the wind catches it and just that color I it, think it's a nice little background there so whew. all right so this is last year's graveyard can't wait for the kids to see this year this year's graveyard with the hellhound <laughs> anyway thanks for watching and take care everybody have a great Halloween